five plants new plant people need to avoid. Did anybody guess this would be number one? Calathea are pest magnets. Without really having any experience with pest, this would be overwhelming for new plant parents. Spider mites are nearly impossible to see and they spread so fast, it would just kill off your entire collection before you even know what hits you. On top of that, they need humidity and moisture and browning edges is very common with them. Number two is anything listed as a terrarium plant. Some plants labeled as terrarium plants can absolutely be kept outside of a terrarium, but a lot of them are very, very finicky. I was growing this in the cabinet, had it in perfect condition, brought it out, which dropped it down 10 degrees, and I've almost lost this thing. If you're really set on getting a begonia and you don't have a terrarium, uh, the begonia rex are pretty easy to take care of. I had these guys just in my bathroom in the window for a long time and they did well. I don't care what anyone says. A string of pearls are not an easy beginner plant. They shrivel up when they need water. They shrivel up when they have too much water. They're just too hard to figure out for new people. Number four, ficus. This one is a little easier than the fiddle leaf fig, but still hard. They're extremely, extremely dramatic. I've moved this six inches over and it's dropped leaves. Seriously dramatic. This is what the fiddle leaf fig looks like. Even the most experienced plant people avoid this one. This last one I may get some heat for, but orchids. They're really easy once you understand what substrate they need and you water regularly, but I don't expect new plant people to understand different substrates yet. Big box stores usually plant them in soil and they end up having root rot and that's just not something experienced plant people understand. Here's a bonus plant. Anything expensive. Unless you have bukus of money, you're not going to want to buy an expensive plant as your first plant in that genus. A lot of the more expensive plants are extremely hard to care for. If you really want a Monstera Thai constellation, try a Monstera Deliciosa first. If you really, really want a Philodendron White Princess, maybe try a Philodendron Birkin or Golden Goddess. And once you get the hang of it, then go for an expensive one.